Hi everyone! Today's video is going to be a wig review on Harlow from Paula Young, so stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. My name is Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. So today we're going to do a review on Harlow from Paula Young. I happen to have two Harlows, one in a 60 and the color 60B. And these were wigs that I purchased um, to do a review of all of Paula Young's gray, gray wigs. So you'll see those videos out there, that video out there. But what I found interesting was when I purchased two of them, um, same wig, different colors. I'll bet you if I even ordered them in the same color, they both fit differently. And so, you know, that just goes to show you that any kind of uh, wig manufacturer is going to have some variation in the consistency of their wigs. I know that I've had that same issue with other, other companies when I found a wig that I really liked, ordered more than one, and uh, so that I would have a backup, and they fit differently and they they might even be cut a little bit differently so but nonetheless we're going to go ahead and do a review on harlow so what we have is this 60 color here and the 60b which is a soft um soft white so it has a little bit more of a warm tone to it a yellow almost and i will bring them close so you can see the difference so you can tell can't you yeah, but they're the same style. And let's take a look at the style. This is what they look like. And this is the color 60B, it's called beige white. So this is the color here, the beige white, soft white is the one that's in the picture here. So let's talk about her cap construction. So it looks like it's an open cap construction here. We've got wefting on the crown and top. We've got a little bit of permatease around circling and on the, on the um, wefts as well. We've got a really nice wide band to do the front hairline. We've got open tabs, ear tabs, and a metal wire stay that's real nice in there. We've got Velcro adjusters and an open extended nape along with really nice wefting all the way around. And when you look at your wefting, look at how close, how many rows there are and how close they may be to each other. This will tell you that you're going to get quite a bit of coverage. You're likely not to see the wefts on the exterior with a wig like that. Now, I don't know if you wanna start counting them or anything, but. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that, but you can tell just looking at this, look at how many wefts are on this. And that's the back from the crown down to the nape. So that's a good sign. I think that's a really good sign. So this is part of my pixie review for the summer of 22. Pixie review, summer 22. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're enjoying them along the way. I know I am. I'm, I'm looking forward to summer and being able to wear pixies. So let's talk about the dimensions here. She's 2.1 ounces and she only comes in an average size. So if you have issues one way or the other, she's not gonna be able to help you. The front is four and a half inches. The top and crown are four inches. So we've got a lot of volume and length right up here that's very similar. The sides are three and a half. So they're just a little bit shorter. Now the upper back right here is two and a half. The nape is one and a three quarters inches. So, you know, you get a little bit of coverage down there. She comes in 24 different colors. So that's kind of exciting to know. She's got lots of, lots of color choices. And of course she's available in their limited or special exclusive colors, such as the beige white. So let's go ahead. Oh, and what I'm having on, uh, what I, what I'm having on, what I have on right now is an older Paula Young wig. It's called Maisie. She was one of my fave, fave favorites, and she's in the color Soft Pewter, which is a naturally rooted gray color. And so anyway, well, I just pulled her out for today. Let's go ahead and try on Harlow. Okay, just gonna shake her out. Get her kind of loosened up there a little bit. She has some permatease, but it's not, 
it's not real pronounced, but it's enough. Okay, now see, remember I we've talked about my dimensions and being able to cover my my hairline. So this is not too bad. It's not as bad as some that I've had. But what I would end up doing is starting with the edges of my hairline, I would go ahead and go around and bring that forward into my um, um, to cover my hairline and make sure that's up by my widow's peak. And then let's see what how well she goes into her her mode of what she's supposed to be what she's supposed to look like. Okay, so we're we're going to use the catalog here as as an example and see how close we can get that. So she's parted on the um on the left. So let me see if I can get this. Now a lot of this curl up here is is already laying where I think it should be. She's got a little bit of ear coverage and of course, you know, I've got some hairline showing there but this is pretty good coverage I'm really kind of pleased with this you know at least at this point as far as this pixie goes so let's see I don't think there's a whole lot else I can do for now let me do a spin for you all right and I see how this is lifting up and showing my hairline a little bit I would probably um, get this wet and make sure that it lays down all right let me do a spin okay the profile is pretty. I, that, that is, I think, a, a nice profile. She's very nice and neat down here, and she's got curls right at the crest of the, of the profile. Enough. Even with a one and three quarter inch nape, it still covers me pretty good. I think it, it's, it, but it's very neat, isn't it? It's very clean looking. There's not a lot of length back there. So if you really like to have that back part of your head to be um, trimmed and sleek, then this is probably a good, a good uh, wig for you. So, you know, it, this might be one of those pixies that you could just plop and go or you know just shake her and put her on and there you go if you have difficulty with your arms oh, and trying to style your hair um, i know that many many people have difficulty with shoulders and arms and and having a wig helps solve the problem of caring for your own bio hair so this might be one of those kinds of wigs that you could do use now I'm sure, you know, I would really hate to try and restyle her, but I'm sure if you wanted to have a little bit different look, you could certainly bring down the height. You know, there's going to be curl that's going to stay back here the whole time, but you could ex um, accentuate the part. Let's see if I can bring it down just a little bit, maybe pull more from the side and even have have it be a little bit more pronounced it gives it a little different a little different look but it's certainly something that you can kind of either dress up or uh, dress down and of course headbands would be a good thing you know that's a real easy fix i don't know if the square bands just having something simple in there like that might add something. Of course, you would want to choose something that's going to show up a little bit better than white. This, this white band is, is the only one I have hand, handy right now. But you can certainly put it behind your ears or cover your ears. So, so anyway, you know, that gives it, it's pretty simple, actually. So she's a really good example of the kind of wig that you don't have to mess with except for just maybe around your face to cover your hairline or trim down or sleek it down to uh, to meet you know whatever your contours are as far as that goes so let's see what could we do to make her up a little bit differently is there something else that we could do well she's got lots of volume so you could certainly well where's the water huh <laughs> So let's see, spray a little bit of water and then have some fun. You can, let's see if she goes the other direction. 
that's always a, a something different. You know, you, you, the hairstyle, the way that they're made in the factories and to ma you know, match the catalog pictures, they, um, they do certain things to them if they're supposed to be parted on one side. But what happens is when you go to, uh, to the opposite side for a part in the hair, you get an option or a, an ability to do something totally different and maybe even kind of fun. So let's see, we could bring bangs down completely, a little bit different, all the way across maybe, maybe just sparse. The It's kind of fun having it spiky a little bit. And so we can do a few things like that. There's not a lot you can do with this back part, of course. But having it pieced out is always fun. It looks so cute. So let me go ahead and I'll try on the other one, the, the um, soft beige one or the beige white. Okay. Okay, so she fits about the same, although she feels a little bit smaller, and I definitely have more of my hairline that is not able to be covered. So this I would have to be real careful about making sure that my, my hairline is covered and that it would always be. I might even take some white powder and go into my hairline, and um, well, if I was gonna match this, but of course it comes in 24 colors. So you, you've got your choice of your favorite colors. So just out of the box and throwing it on your head. It's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. So how's, they're looking pretty similar, aren't they? So there's gotta be some consistency. And of course I think there is with this, this one. It's a very popular wig. Well, that's it for Harlow today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a good day and we'll see you next time at Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.